What's up guys, this is Yuji Kun here for Clockface, bringing you another Love Life Waifu deck profile. Uh, the deck profile I'll be doing today is this lovely girl right here, Maki. She's a first year and I know she is quite popular among the Love Life fans. So let's get to it. Uh, first off, for level zeros, I'm running four of these uh, forever and ever Maki's 004k it's a uh, zero beer uh, what this card does on play is you get to mail your top two cards of your deck and then if there's a climax among those two cards that you mailed you can uh, you have to tap rest this card just an oversized beater for your level zero game it's not bad um, next up we have four of these 002k Maki's uh, what this card does is you can ditch a card from your hand to the waiting room and you can look at the top four cards of your deck, choose one blue character among them, reveal it, add it to your hand, and then put the rest in the way. So it's kind of like a Akatsuki uh, from Kantai and Haru from Nisekoi effect. Uh, on play, look at the top, t look at the top four, uh, add, one, add one to your hand, and then the rest go away in the waiting room. Not bad, hand fixing. Uh, next up, we have three of these, 0025 Maki's. Uh, during your opponent's turn, if if the card, if you have five or more cards in your hand, this card gets plus 2k. So it's like another um, level zero beater. So it becomes a 4-5, even stronger than this. A 4-5, zero, 0 beater. Next up, I only run two of these, 0015s. What this card does is your character in the middle center position, okay, only the middle center position gets 500 power, and then you can pay to tap this and then search your deck for search your deck for a music character, reveal it to your opponent, add it to your hand, and then shuffle your deck. So it's a pay to search, pay to tap this and the search, and then one of these 0015 Brainstormer Maki's, uh, it's a pay one, reveal reveal top four for every brainstorming you reveal, uh, search your deck for a music character, and then that's the brainstorm effect, and then the other one is your, char your characters in the middle position of the center stage gets 500, so only the middle, the center in the middle, the center character gets 500, so conjuncture with this, uh, your two middle characters gets plus a thousand. Only in the center. And then last but not least, uh, I'm running one of these zero zero backups. Just in case. Uh, if you have a level 3 or higher character, this card gets plus 1 soul. And it's a 10k level 0 backup. So this is it for my running of my level 0 game. As you can see, there's some utility and then mostly beaters and then assists and then utility here. So I'm running 4, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 level zeros. Next up for the level 1 is where the fun starts. I'm running 3 of these uh, one zero events. What this card does is put the top card out of your deck into your you to your clock, and then if a character with Maki, you can draw three, choose one character from your hand, put it into a waiting room, and then one of your characters gets plus 2k power until end of the turn. All right, very, very strong card. As you guys know, I just built this deck like not too long ago, so uh, I haven't really fully read the card's abilities yet, so I'm kind of like doing this. Uh, next up, we have this Maki 104K Angelic Maki. This is from the new English DX2 set. Um, what this does is it has Encore effect. You can clock yourself for Encore, and then this card gets 500 power for each of your music characters you have on the field. So very very solid card for a uh, free cost or one zero. Next up, we have. Four of these, the best card for this deck. One zero, we are single light Maki, four five. 
Uh, what this card does is it climax combos with, of course, uh, We Are Single Light Maki, uh, which is this card right here. So what this card does is this climax combos with this. When you play this climax on your climax phase, this card gets plus a thousand for the turn, and you get to look at the top four cards of your deck, look for a music character amongst one of them, add it to your hand, discard the rest, and then this card gets plus a thousand power. And it also has another ability. Uh, what? Let me see what this other ability. Uh, choose one of your characters. Uh, choose one of your music characters, rest it, and then this card also gets a thousand power. So with this climax combo, uh, with this Maki, it's really really strong. It can get pretend it gets a plus two K power if you have the climax, and you can tap one of your back row characters and then give this card another thousand power. So very very strong. Next up we have three of these. Uh one zero Maki or one one Maki four five excuse me. This Maki also has Encore and what this Maki does is the character facing this if it's a zero cost okay if it's a zero cost or lower uh, character it gets plus one level and plus three five power three five power for the for the turn so very very strong solid card to get rid of the level one climax combos that people might have next up I have two of these pro PRs uh, one zero two two five it's an assist during your opponent's turn all of your characters in front of this gets plus one level and 500 power and then the other ability is when this card is placed from stage from the hand you can look at the top two cards from your deck uh, put them in your deck in anywhere so that you scry when this card's on play next up we have one of these 1-1 one, one backups uh, Event you just choose one of your characters and that character gets plus three five power until end of the turn. So a pretty standard uh, backup. Next up, so I'm running four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen level ones. I know it's kind of a lot considering there's like four events and then well there's yeah three events and then one backup and then there's only four. 8, 10, 13, there's only like 13 actual level 1 cards, but these level 1s are really good. Um, this is what I personally like to build for my level 1s, so you guys can change what you guys want for the ratios and whatnot, uh, but this is what I chose to run. This uh, level 1 climax combo works really well. Uh, I've play tested a couple times, so um, it's so far it's worked really well for me, so hope you guys like this. Uh, this build so next up we're gonna go to straight up the level threes because I have so many level ones I don't run any level twos hardly any level twos so we're just gonna go str dive straight to the straight to the level threes which I'm gonna get to right now so first off we have level three this three two nine K Maki uh, what this monkey does is if you have six or more climax in your waiting room this card gets minus one level in your hand so technically you can play this maki at level two so that's why i don't run any of the level any level twos and then this mock this maki also gets 500 for every music character you have and then when this card is placed from stage from the hand you can draw two cards choose one of your cards in your hand and then ditch it so very very solid uh level three Maki I run three of those next up I run three of these also the three two ten K Maki's the dressed up Maki uh, what this Maki does is you can choose one of your characters from your deck uh, yeah choose one of your characters in your deck if it's a music character review reveal it and then shuffle your deck so if you so on play reveal top card of your deck if it's a music character add it to your hand and then ditch one and then shuffle your deck and then second ability is if you have a card named happy maker maki nishino you may pay the cost if you do put the top card of your 
clock into her so you get to heal one. So you get to pay one and ditch one and then you get to heal one when this is uh, when this Maki is on play. So Happy Maker, if you have a Happy Maker Maki, which is the next card I'm going to tell you guys about, which is this card right here, the 3-2 Happy Maker Maki. So if you have this Maki on play, you, you get to do those abilities. So next up, this Maki, the Happy Maker Maki. Is during your opponent's turn, this card gets 500 power for each of your music characters. And then if you have a... If you play a change event, there's a card that changes into this, which I am also not running. Uh, you ch if you change or if it's on play, you get to heal one. It's a 3-2-10k Maki, Happy Maker Maki. So very strong, solid card. So if you have this on play, you get to heal. And then if you, this card on play, you get to heal. And then if this card's on play, this card also gets the ability to heal. So you have seven cards that potentially heal off of each other. And then this is just like a really big beater. So this is it for my Maki game. A lot of people don't really... Uh, like the level, think it's too much healing for my level 3 Makis, but this is the only way I think, like, you can, that works really well for me, and, yeah, this is really strong, so, I'm running 3, or, 3, 6, 10, 10 level 3s, but you need to have one of the, uh, Makis in your, uh, waiting room, and then, so this is the only level 3's I'm running, 10 level 3's. And then for climaxes, oops, you guys probably guessed it, I'm running 4 of these single lights Makis, the 1k1 patch trigger. And then, as optional for the other climax climaxes, I, there's not really like a certain one that you could possibly run. Uh, so I just ran with the book, because for this deck, you're going to be ditching cards a lot from your hand, so I chose to run the book trigger. Four of these Naptime Makis, it's just really cute. Um, it's a 1k1 also. Um, this doesn't really climax combo with anything well in the deck, but I, since you're ditching cards a lot from your hand in the, during this deck on play, uh, effects, so I just chose to run the book trigger to draw, to have a chance to draw back the cards that you ditched, possibly from your hand. Um, and this is it, guys, for my Maki Waifu deck uh, profile. Hope you guys really enjoy this video. I know I sound kind of weird right now with this with this deck, but uh, I really just uh, built this deck like not too long ago, and I'm building it for a friend. So uh, only played a couple times. So hope you guys enjoy this deck profile. Um, I will soon have all of the Love Life Girls um, deck profiles up on the channel so if you guys give me a like and subscribe that would be much appreciated um, I will put up more Love Life uh, deck profiles in the future so if you guys stay tuned um, until then see you guys next time thanks for watching